Hey guys, it's Michael here from FlySight. Uh, in this video, we're gonna talk about how to navigate and make measurements in FlySight Viewer. If we move our cursor in the plot view, uh, you'll see that a small black dot appears in the four views below. Uh, so you can always use this to figure out where that point in time is in the other plots. Uh, it works the other way around too. If we move our cursor in the map view close to the red line, then we can see where in the plot view uh, that point is. We can see the basic controls by going to the tools menu. And they're right here. So we can pan, we can zoom, and we can measure. We can change the mode either by clicking on one of these options in the menu or by hitting P, Z, or M. Let's take a quick look at the plot here so that we can get oriented. Uh, in this particular plot, we start on the ground. Uh, and then at this point, the aircraft takes off and we see the climb to altitude. The aircraft stays at altitude for a little while. And then at this point right here, the jumper jumps. And probably right around here where we see a bit of an elbow in the elevation plot is where the jumper deploys. And right down at the bottom here is where the jumper lands. I'm going to use the zoom tool to zoom into the jump itself. So I'll hit Z and then I'll click and drag across the free fall portion of the jump. In addition to using the Z key, uh, no matter what tool is active, you can always use the middle mouse button to zoom in and out. So if I pull the mouse wheel toward me, we zoom out, and if I push the mouse wheel away from me, we zoom in. If I hit P, we can pan. So now when I click and drag, it moves the plot left and right. And if I hit M, we can measure. So now when we click and drag, we can see changes in time, distance, and elevation. Uh, in addition to the minimum, average, and maximum over our selected range. That's it. In the next video, we're going to take a closer look at the plot view in Flyset Viewer.